We all love the Matrix movies, right? The way Neo takes care of business is just amazing. But what if I tell you that the Matrix may be real? No, I'm not talking about Tate's Matrix. I'm talking about Elon Musk's theory. You get to ask her one question. What would that question be? What's outside the simulation? Scientists think that he may just be right. So let's tell you the theories that prove we live in a computer simulation. Nick Bostrom's simulation argument, Nick Bostrom, a prominent philosopher from the University of Oxford, believes that we live in a simulation, and he has proof too. He brought this concept into the limelight with his simulation argument. Bostrom put forward that one of three possibilities must be true. Civilizations never reach a technological point capable of creating simulations. They lose interest in doing so, or we are almost certainly living in one. His argument hinges on the rapid advancement of technology and the likelihood of creating ancestor simulations, virtual realities so detailed that their inhabitants would be indistinguishable from real being. Ostrom's hypothesis forces us to question the nature of reality, prompting philosophical debates and scientific investigations into the limits of our understanding of the universe. Elon Musk's perspective. Elon Musk, the visionary behind Tesla and SpaceX, has publicly stated his belief in the simulation hypothesis. In a 2016 interview, Musk famously remarked that the odds we are not in a simulation are one in billions. He draws attention to the exponential growth of video game realism, from simple pixelated graphics to complex virtual environments. Musk argues that, given enough time, our technology will inevitably create indistinguishable virtual worlds, leading to the probability that our current reality might already be one. His views have sparked widespread interest and fueled public discourse, blending science fiction with philosophical inquiry, quantum physics and the nature of reality. Quantum physics, the study of the smallest particles in the universe presents phenomena that seem to align with the simulation hypothesis. Concepts like quantum superposition and entanglement suggest that reality is probabilistic, not deterministic. The famous double-slit experiment demonstrates that particles behave differently when observed, implying a reality that responds to observation, much like a computer simulation that renders environments only when needed. Does this mean that everything we know may be wrong? These quantum anomalies have led some scientists to speculate that our universe might be governed by an underlying computational framework, further blurring the line between reality and simulation. But that's not all. James Gate, a theoretical physicist, has discovered something astonishing in the equations of supersymmetry, a potential blueprint of the universe. Gates found error-correcting codes, similar to those used in computer browsers, embedded in the equations describing fundamental particles. This discovery suggests the universe might have a digital foundation, much like a computer program. These codes raise profound questions about the nature of reality and whether we are part of a cosmic computation, hinting at an underlying digital architecture that could support the simulation hypothesis. This further changes the way we view things. Obviously, the poster boy of the future is also involved in this question. AI plays a crucial role in the simulation hypothesis. As AI systems grow increasingly complex and sophisticated, they demonstrate the potential to create autonomous, self-aware entities within simulated environments. AI-driven simulations like video games and virtual reality worlds rapidly evolve, showcasing ever more realistic and immersive experiences. This development raises questions about the nature of consciousness and whether an advanced civilization could engineer AI beings so advanced that they perceive their simulated world as reality. The intersection of AI and the simulation hypothesis challenges our understanding of consciousness, self-awareness, and the boundaries between real and virtual existence. With things like GPT and more AI bots, the concept of conscience is blurring. Counter-arguments and skepticism. Despite its intrigue, the simulation hypothesis faces significant skepticism and counter-arguments. Critics argue that the concept is non-existent, making it more philosophical than scientific. Some philosophers suggest that even if simulations could exist, there is no empirical way to prove that our universe is one. Others point to the sheer computational power required to simulate an entire universe, questioning its feasibility. Furthermore, some scientists believe focusing on the simulation hypothesis diverts attention from more pressing, tangible scientific inquiries. These counter-arguments ensure that the simulation hypothesis remains a topic of debate, balancing speculative science with critical analysis. What part of the argument are you in? Let us know in the comments. On a practical level, understanding the framework of our reality could unlock new scientific and technological frontiers. 
reshaping our approach to everything from physics to artificial intelligence. The simulation hypothesis compels us to rethink our place in the cosmos, blending science, philosophy, and spirituality. One critical aspect of the simulation hypothesis is the notion of computational limits. An immense amount of computational power would be necessary for a simulated universe to function, especially when simulating complex systems like galaxies, planets, and biological life. Experts argue that advanced civilizations, potentially millions of years ahead, could harness computational resources far beyond our current understanding, such as harnessing energy from entire stars or utilizing quantum computing. These technologies could make simulating entire universes feasible. However, skeptics highlight that even with such advancements, a universe's sheer scale and complexity might be impractical to simulate in totality, suggesting that simulations could focus on specific areas or entities. In contrast, others remain simplified or rendered only when observed, similar to modern video games. This idea introduces concepts like rendering reality on demand, which aligns with certain quantum mechanics phenomena, providing a fascinating blend of physics and computer science in explaining the nature of our universe. And then again, if someone was capable enough to create such a simulation, won't they be equipped enough to also have a reliable power source? The role of entropy and thermodynamics. Entropy and the second law of thermodynamics are essential concepts in understanding the universe and they also play a role in the simulation hypothesis. In physics, entropy measures disorder within a system and according to the second law of thermodynamics, entropy always increases over time in an isolated system. This principle governs the flow of energy and the progression of time. If our universe is a simulation, then the laws of thermodynamics could be programmed rules rather than fundamental truths. Some theorists speculate that the gradual increase in entropy allows the simulation to process and manage information, ensuring the system's stability over time. Understanding how entropy and thermodynamics fit into the simulation hypothesis could offer clues about the underlying mechanisms of our reality and whether the universe operates under a set of programmed rules. It's not a new concept though. Simulation hypothesis parallels many religious and philosophical ideas about the nature of reality. Ancient philosophies, like those of Plato's allegory of the cave, propose that what we perceive as reality might only be a shadow of the true form. Similarly, many religious traditions speak of an ultimate reality beyond our perceivable universe, often controlled or created by a higher power. The simulation argument resonates with these ideas, suggesting that what we see and experience could be a designed construct overseen by advanced beings or entities. This perspective challenges traditional views about God, creation, and the purpose of life, reframing them within the context of a simulated universe. It also invites philosophical debates about free will, destiny, and the nature of the soul, blending ancient wisdom with contemporary scientific inquiry. By connecting the simulation hypothesis with age-old questions, we gain a deeper understanding of humanity's enduring quest to comprehend the ultimate nature of existence. Looking ahead, the simulation hypothesis will likely continue to evolve alongside technological advancements. As we push the boundaries of artificial intelligence, virtual reality, and quantum computing, our ability to create increasingly sophisticated simulations will grow. Creating fully immersive virtual environments or even entire simulated worlds could bring us closer to understanding the feasibility of living in a simulated reality. And we may even be able to answer if we indeed live in a simulation or not. Future research in neuroscience and cognitive science may also shed light on the emergence of consciousness within simulated beings, potentially offering insights into our existence. Additionally, advancements in space exploration and the search for extraterrestrial life could reveal civilizations capable of simulating entire universes, further fueling the simulation debate. As technology progresses, the line between reality and virtuality will blur, compelling humanity to confront profound questions about the nature of existence. Now, we ask you the same question. Do you think that we live in a simulation? What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.